Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, where it's my brethren out in Australia. Shout out to Australia, Aussie, 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 oi, 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 and all that good stuff over there. Um, recent news on BoxingC.com, uh, Jeff Horn's trainer is pleading with Jeff Horn to forget about Terrence Crawford for the time being and fight Anthony Mundine in Australia. Now, Let's 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 get into the whole situation. So Jeff Horn recently had a mandatory de- obligation, mandatory defense to knock out against Gary Corcoran, who was rated number ten by the WBO. He got the job done, you know, eleventh round stoppage victory, but it wasn't his best performance. You know, he was weight drained. He had to cut like eight to nine pounds of weight in in in, in, in twenty four hours just to make the one hundred and forty seven pound welterweight limit. So he was really sluggish, weight drained getting hit with a lot of right hands and you know he persevered he made it through the fight and ultimately won but it wasn't an easy fight for him so now that that fight has happened bob aram wants him to fight terrence crawford in april of next year at in las vegas which i find interesting because they made manny pacquiao go to australia for jeff horn but they didn't not they're making jeff horn go to las vegas with terrence crawford i mean it just sounds weird to me honestly it's, it's a bit weird to me but um and it was, what's crazy too is like in both in both instances, like the champion, like when 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 Pacquiao fought Horn on the road, like he's a champion. Why is he going on the road? Now that Horn's a champion, he had a, 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 Aaron wants him to go on the road. So like in both scenarios, the champion is getting screwed by Bob Aram. So it makes no sense to me, but that's just my opinion. Uh Jeff Horn knocked out his mandatory obligation so now he can he can make a voluntary defense um which he's not even going to do it because of he, because uh his trainer wants him to go fight Anthony Mundine who is also Australian and, and that that fight would be at 154 at a weight that would probably be more suited to Jeff Horn because he would have to struggle to make the weight and being that they're both Australian you know that would be a, a big that's a big fight over there and I I I I'd, kind of got more insight into how big of a fight it is in Australia when I listened to my boy MBT Boxing's video. Shout out to him, MBT Boxing, one of the only um, LDBC channels that I watch that I, I, I enjoy his videos. So shout out to him. But, um, yeah, well, I was watching his video, and he was talking. He was telling me, because he's from Australia, he's a big Jeff Horn fan, he follows this boxing scene over there. He knows that uh, it's a big fight there. And they can sell a lot of tickets. And, and and honest to God, it probably makes more money than the Terrence Crawford fight in Vegas. You know, Terrence Crawford's not for, – for, for as great of a fighter as he is, Terrence Crawford is no, is no cash cow. Because you can be a great fighter and not be a cash cow and not have a big fan base. His fan base is really in Omaha. So you're not going to get a lot of money for fighting Terrence Crawford. You really aren't. So um, he doesn't have to fight Terrence Crawford for like another nine months. I was reading in the WBO rankings that uh, after you knock out a mandatory defense, you don't have to defend your title for like nine months. Well, like so, he doesn't have to defend his title for like until like August or September of next year, um, and he can take this fight with um, Mundine. I don't know. It'll. I don't. I don't think it'll count. I don't know if it'll count as a voluntary because he'll be fighting in a new weight class. So he might. He might just outright fight Mundine, come back to one forty seven, take a voluntary at one forty seven if it doesn't count, and then fight Crawford. So we don't know what Horn's gonna do, but his trainer's pleading with him. Here's what uh, Hall of Fame trainer Johnny Johnny Lewis, who's working with the likes of Costa Zoo and Jeff French, Jeff Finch said about Jeff Horn uh, fighting Crawford he's in how he just how he looked against Gary Corcoran. He said, I quote, Jeff Horn looked so drained at the weigh-in for the Corcoran fight. It was like he had had a bout with Count Dracula the night before. He looked emasculated. Jeff Horn was the best thing that happened to, to the Australian sport in a long time, and I, I, I would hate to see him fight Crawford. Seriously disadvantaged. Jeff relies so much on his huge mental strength to keep him pushing through. I'm not saying he can't beat Terrence Crawford, but it's madness to give him such a huge head start. Um... He also went on to saying that, you know, a Mundine Horn fight would capture the imagination of the Australian boxing public and said, said I quote, I struggle, struggling to wait, make weight catches up with you. Gary Corcoran was hitting Jeff with a lot of right, uh, lead right hands the other night that shouldn't have been landing. If I was advising Jeff, I'd, I'd say forget Crawford or his promoter and what they want. You cut the best deal you can and fight Mundine and then suit yourself after that. If you're having trouble at welterweight, move up to junior middleweight because there's probably even more money for you up there and quote um it's interesting to me because jeff horn i like i really do want to see him fight crawford um because i want to see what crawford does with his style like fighting a guy who's 
a big welterweight, you know, mauls you, uses, you know, physically strong, um, has some decent, decent skills. You know, I, I would like to see that fight because um, I want to see how Terrence deals with that style. I don't think he's never fought a guy like that uh, in the pros. Um, but I, I don't think Jeff Horn should, should fight him in April, to be honest with you. I don't think he has to because, like, for one, uh, Jeff Horn – just knocked out his mandatory defense. And if, if if homeboy just knocked out a mandatory defense and he wants to go fight Anthony Mundine and go make more money in Australia, then gosh darn it, go make, go fight Anthony Mundine and go make some more money. Cause well, he's like 29 years old. Um, you know, he, he's going to, he's going to go into the jet, the, the Terrence Carver fight as an underdog regardless. So why not fight Anthony Mundine? And if Terrence Crawford is so great as people make him out to be, then I'll be, he, he should be Jeff Horn anyway, you know? So like, He's probably he's probably gonna look at it that way, and I would I would say you could expect him to to go fight Anthony Mundine, um, and he should go fight Anthony Mundine. Like that's a that's a big fight in Australia. He's gonna make lots of money, and he's gonna fight somebody who probably isn't as good as Terence. He's not as good. Terrence, Anthony Mundine is no Terence Crawford right now. You know, never was like, like he's not, he's not a, a, a better fighter than Terence Crawford. So you can fight a lesser opponent for more money, and 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 probably what would be the biggest fight in the history. Of Australian boxing, who wouldn't want to? Who wouldn't want to make history in their hometown, in their homeland? Like, come on, man! Like that, that thats a big deal for Jeff Horn. So why not take the fight? And then after you do that, you made your money, win or lose, you made your money against Mundine. You come back to one forty-seven. You can defend your belt against Jeff or uh, Terence Crawford. And Terence Crawford, in the meantime, he can be, he can go fight at Can or fight a decent opponent. I don't know who he could fight, but um. I'm sure there's names there for him. You could go fight like a Constantine Panamara type of opponent or something, something like something like that. I don't know, um, but I'm not I'm not against Jeff Horn like, you know, taking the Anthony Mundine fight because it's it's not really a duck, honestly. It's not a duck um, because of the of the rankings. Uh, what the ratings say, he if he knocked out a mandatory challenge, uh, a mandatory obligation already, then he doesn't got to knock it out right away. And plus. The same people who will say that, oh, he's Doug and Terrence Crawford and cry about boxing politics and boxing rankings and how they're terrible. And, you know, they're not crying about how Terrence Crawford just got jumped up to number one in the division. I mean, I, I don't hear no I'll cry about that. You know what? I mean, yeah, he did a lot at 140. At 140, undisputed champion at 140. We don't take that away from him. He was fantastic at 140. But he hasn't done jack at 147. And so why, why, why is he afforded the opportunity of jumping up all the way to number one to become the challenger over the other guys in the top, top 10. Can somebody answer me that question? I don't know. Um, Bob Arum and the WBO, we know they're like this. So we know Bob Arum might have slipped uh, slipped the WBO a couple of Robert De Niro's and put Terrence Crawford up there at number one. No no, no secret there. So uh, there's, no, there's no outcry about it, but I just wanted to make that known. Um, and the fight will happen, I think. But uh, yeah, go make your money, Jeff Horn. And plus, like that's a big fight over there. Go be a national hero. Um, you beat Manny Pacquiao on paper. I don't, I don't think you beat him, but you know you beat him. It was a good fight. What we watched the other day it was a good fight. You really gave a great account of yourself. Um, freaking dirty as hell, but you gave a good good account of yourself um, in that fight. So you're already a legend in Australia. But why not become another le- be a bigger legend in Australia? Fight Anthony Mundine. You know, go for the gusto, as they say. And then you can go fight Terrence Crawford whenever you want because he'll be there. You know, Terrence Crawford ain't going anywhere. And he ain't going to make you no money. So make your money. You know, you only, you only get so much time to make money in boxing. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, Jeff Horn hasn't ducked Terrence Crawford. You know, ducked. I put that in quotation marks because I really don't think it's a duck. He knocked out his mandatory obligation. But um, he hasn't not said he's going to fight Terrence Crawford. It's, it's coming out that his trainer doesn't want him to fight Terrence Crawford right away. And if he's struggling to make weight, if he has to cut eight or nine pounds to make the weight, then yeah, go fight at 154. Uh, just my opinion, you know, take it for what it's worth. Some of you, they don't give a damn anyway, so it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, man, let me know what you guys think. Like, what do you think Jeff Horn should do next? Uh, do you think like, hey, he's got to go fight Terrence Crawford. He's a champion. You know, jump right into it in April. Or does it make sense to, hey, I just knocked out a mandatory fight. You know, there's a big money fight in Australia to fight Anthony Mundine. I can become a, a legend in my homeland, an even bigger legend in my homeland if I take this fight and beat him and I'll make more money in the process and I can then the Crawford will still be there. Should he go that route? You know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Love to hear from you guys. Love to read your comments. Uh share the video. You know, subscribe, do all that good stuff. You know, follow True School Sports on Instagram at True School Sports. Got a lot of great things going on over there. Uh so please go follow that. Um and yeah man, like I say in every video, my name is Brendan Taylor. 
You can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dania. And that's Dania in South Florida, if you didn't know. So until next time, take care, guys.